Hi everyone, ahojte. Today in Linguarte we are going to study the accusative case in Slovak language. We are also going to describe all the different forms in singular and plural according to its gender. If you like this video, you can subscribe to our channel to receive notifications when we upload a new video. Also, you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook, where you can see more interesting information about the Slovak language. You can find a link in the description where you can download a document with this lesson and practices. Let's start! Začíname! To start, it's important to understand that Slovak language uses cases to describe differences in the meaning of the word in the sentence. Each of these cases have an ending to show their meaning in the sentence. Slovak language has six cases called nominative, genitive, dative, accusative, locative, instrumental. If you want to know more about the cases in Slovak language, you can check this video where we explain all the cases and their meaning. In this video, we will focus in the accusative case. It is used to describe the direct object of a sentence. That means the accusative case is the thing affected by the action of the verb. To recognize when to use the accusative, we can see this example. Peter studuje Slovenčinu. Peter studies Slovak. Peter is the person who makes the verb's action. The verb is study and the thing affected by the verb is Slovenčina, Slovak. That means we need to use the word Slovenčina in accusative case. In order to form the accusative case, we need to see if the noun is masculine, feminine or neuter. After that, we need to add some endings in the nouns according to some models. The nouns in accusative, just like the rest of the cases, are divided into masculine, feminine and neuter gender. Let's start with the masculine. The masculine nouns have three categories. Living nouns, non-living nouns and nouns of foreign origin. The living nouns have two types. The nouns ending with a consonant, like chlap, men, and nouns ending with a vowel, like hrdina, hero. The accusative case is form adding some endings to the words. For chlap, it's like this. Chlapa for singular and chlapo for plural. Hrdinu is singular and hrdino plural. Other nouns with the same changes as chlap are otec, father, brat, brother, syn, son, učiteľ, teacher, priateľ, friend. Nouns like hrdina are cyklista, vodka, hokejista. The non-living nouns have also two types. Nouns ending in a hard or bilabial consonant. These are nouns ending with B, M, Z, D, T, L, K. One example is dup. There are also nouns ending with a soft consonant. These are nouns ending with Y, Š, Ñ, Ž, Č. One example is stroj, machine. The accusative case for dup is dup for singular and dubi for plural. Stroj for singular and stroje for plural. Other nouns like dup are dup, dom, strom, obraz, hrad, plot, stvol, vlak. Nouns like stroj are kuoš, oheň, nuoš, čaj, počítač. The feminine nouns have these categories. Nouns ending with A. Nouns ending with A but preceded by a soft consonant. Nouns ending with a consonant. Let's start with the nouns ending in an A, like žena. The accusative singular is ženu and for ženy, plural. Other nouns like žena are Voda, hlava, ruka, noha, chata, 
Bratislava. The nouns ending in A, but preceded by a soft consonant. That means words ending with ca, za, la, ja, nya, sha. The model is ulica, street. The accusative singular is ulicu and for plural ulice. Other nouns like ulica are praca, stanica, schuoza, tabula, ruja. The nouns ending in a consonant like dlan have this accusative. Dlan in the singular and dlanie in plural. Nouns like dlanie are piesen, loď, básen, reportáž, postel. Nouns ending in a consonant like kost have this accusative. Kost in singular and kosti in plural. Other nouns like kost are vec, noc, step, pomoc, zmes, radost, krv. The third gender of nouns is the neutral one. The neutral nouns are divided into nouns ending in o, on, um, like mesto. Nouns ending in e, like srce. Nouns ending in je, like stretnutie. Nouns ending in a or e, like tjevča. The nouns ending with o, like mesto, have these accusatives. Mesto for singular and mesta for plural. Other words like mesto are auto, jablko, slovensko, muzeum. The nouns ending in e, like srdce, form the accusative with srdce in singular and srdcia in plural. Nouns like srdce are vajce, more, nastupište, pole. The nouns ending in je, like stretnutie, have stretnutie in the accusative, a singular and a stretnutia in the plural form. Other nouns of this type are vysvečenie, listie, stretnutie, námestie, umenie. Finally, the neutral nouns with ending in a or a, like dievča, have these accusatives. Dievča in singular and dievčata or dievčence in the plural form. Nouns like dievča are dieťa, zviera, kura, žriebe. Here you can see all the types of nouns and the accusative forms. Now let's practice. Try to say the accusative form of the following nouns. I see the teacher. Ja vidím. Učiteľ has an accusative form like chlap. The answer is Ja vidím učiteľa. I visit the castles. Navštevujem Hrad has an accusative like dup. Navštevujem hrady. We drink water. Pijeme. Voda is a noun like žena. The answer is pijeme vodu. Great practice! Thank you very much for learning with us. We hope you found this lesson useful and continue practicing Slovak language with our other of our videos. Also write in the comments what other phrases you want to study. See you in the next video. Ciao! Bye!